Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install JDK on Mac Mini M1 and M2 with Mac OS Ventura. In this process, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Java Home as well on Mac OS Ventura. So in this session, we are going to cover two things. First, we will see a very easy way to install the JDK on Mac OS Ventura. Okay, it doesn't matter which a machine you are using. You are using M1, you are using M2 chip, you are using Mac mini or you are using the Mac book. No matter, same process will work on your machine as well. Also, we will set up Java home environment very well. Let's begin with this step one. In this step one, first we will download and install the compatible JDK version. As you guys know, Mac M1 and M2 are ARM based CPU architecture. So we have to download the compatible JDK. This is the link and the same link present in the description. Please copy the link, open the browser and paste in the address bar, hit enter. Then you will be landed here on the Java downloads page. This is the official Oracle website for Java download. When you scroll down, you will see Java 28, JDK 17 and other versions also available. Here in this tutorial session, I'm going to set up JDK 28. If you have a need for the JDK 17, you can follow the same process for JDK 17 as well. When you scroll down, you will see we have three different operating system, Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So you have to click on this Mac OS option and just come down here you will see the ARM64 DMG installer this is the right one for our machine let's proceed with this download link just click on it once you click you will see the downloading is started and uh, if you have a very good internet speed this will not take more than three to four minutes once the downloading is finished, just go to the download folder. You will see the DMG file. We have to simply double click on it. And then you will see this package. Just click on it. And then you will see the very first window of the JDK installer. Simply click on the continue. And this will show you the message about the space. And when you click next, you have to give the password, the system password. Please enter the password and click on the install software button. Okay. You will see the progress bar. Very soon you will get the message installation succeeded. Then this will prompt you a message like the downloaded DMG file is done its work so you want to throw it to the bin yes if you do the yes this will clean the download folder and this will throw the file to the bin if you want you can put it now guys uh, we have successfully executed this step one now in the step two we need to verify the installation this process is very simple we need to open the terminal go to the spotlight search type terminal okay let me maximize the font so you can see the command very easily now at this place we have to type java space hyphen version press enter then you will see this kind of message java version 20.0.1 long term support Java runtime environment. That means our JDK installation is successful. Now we can proceed. Great. Now we are at the step three. Let me tell you in the step three, basically we will do some activity to set up Java underscore home environment variable. Right? So in this case, we need one important file. The name is dot zshrc file. If this file is not present on your system, 
or you have just purchased the machine and you are going to install the java first time then definitely you don't have this file in this case we need to create the file and then we will add the java home so here i have mentioned this step let me show you so in my case i have already created but for you i will show you by creating this file from the scratch let's type the command ls minus al to check this file is exist on your system or not as you can see i have executed the command and the file is present because i have just created this file before creating this video but for you i will create this file again okay let's proceed to create there's a simple command to create this file touch and then this syntax same command present in the description you can copy from that place come to terminal and type touch tilde sign forward slash dot jsh rc press enter you can see right now we are in the mac dev user okay so file will be created but this file will be hidden you cannot see this file directly okay so the now the next thing is we have to give the read and write permission so basically the write permission is important so we have to write this command and press enter when the permission is granted we can proceed okay for those who have already created this file and the file is present on the system then simply we need to open this file and then we will proceed to add the java home environment variable and this is the simple command to open the file with the text editor why i am opening this with the text editor because this is very straightforward way to open read write something and you can save it so the command will be open space a open space hyphen a text edit tilde sign forward slash dot jshrc press enter then you will see your file will be opened in this edit in this text file and this is blank so now we need to add the export entry in this file let me adjust this file so you can see everything so these are the entries first one is the export java_home is equal to the path till jdk folder let's find out the path of the jdk folder okay let me copy uh, these two statement let me copy these two statements here in this jshrc file okay so here i have added see this now go back to the spotlight search and type forward slash library okay then the result you will see a library folder just click on it okay when you click you will see all the folders present in the library on your system here we need to find the java folder so we got it go inside the java folder then you will see java virtual machines here you will see all the jdk that you will install okay all the stuff you will find if you have multiple version of jdk you will find here so how you will detect the path go to the contents then drag the home folder here on the terminal then you will get the complete path why do we this thing because we don't want any path conflict so if you go for the typing you can miss anything so 
in that case the setup will not work so do the process exactly what i am telling okay this way you will get the exact path without any typo error right okay the second statement is export path so we have just append the bin folder path when the system load this file so system will know our java is present at this place and all the important libraries like java and java c and the other are present inside the bin folder and then we are appending this to the existing path this way so these two entries are important which we have done now one important thing i want to tell you so you have seen we have added the entries but make sure don't leave any space just before the equal sign or just after the equal sign so please remove this space in both these statements okay so previously it was that now i have just removed these spaces on both lines so make sure you don't have any space just before the equal sign and just after the equal sign and save the file great we have almost done now go to the terminal and type source tilt sign forward slash dot zshrc press enter and now you can simply echo dollar java home to verify the path is there or not when you press enter you will see this kind of path which is coming through that place okay now again we will do the echo path variable so we will see all the stuff consolidated and the result will show you the complete path of the bin folder it means our setup is properly done so in the step 4 we have performed this thing and now the jdk and the java home environment variable setup in the mac os ventura is successful and now this is all yours you can go ahead and create your java applications java programs and you can compile and run easily on the mac os ventura i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate or you can subscribe to learn more and support us and for now thanks for watching cool it help